Okay, now to liven things up a little bit, you want to try a different rhythm on the guitar um, when we're doing our transitions. Let's do from the E minor to the G and back to the E minor. So we're going to do four and then we're going to go to the G. Let's just do eight and then go to the G for eight and then back to the E minor for eight. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, move to the G position. Do that again, the basic strumming back and forth, E minor to G. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. with three fingers. This is the three finger. You can leave the low E open. Some people say not to play it. It sounds okay. Um, you can leave it open if you want. The A string stays open. The D string you play with your pointer finger in the second fret. The G string you use your middle finger in the second fret. And the B string you use your third finger, your ring finger, in the second fret. The last string is held open. That's an A. Let's go ahead and do it. So, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, all in the second fret, starting on the G, the D string, excuse me. And what you want to make sure is you're not muting that high E string. You want to make sure that rings out clear still. So go through and pluck, make sure each one rings clear. Once you're sure that you're playing it correctly, then you can strum it. Some people with large fingers have trouble stuffing all those fingers into that one fret. If you have fingers that will bend backward, you can press down all three of those strings with one finger. As long as you try not to hit that top E string. I'm not able to do that. My fingers don't bend backward enough. Um, if I don't play that high E string, that's what it sounds like. It sounds okay. Um, so if that works better for you, go ahead. For me, it hurts. So I'm using all three of my fingers. So, without strumming for the A, let's skip a beat. We're going to do one, and then skip the next, the up beat. So it'll just be one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and... So that's what we're going to do. Get your fingers in the A position and let's go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, so now transition between E to A and A to E minor. Um, again, same thing, you're going to want to break them apart. Practice them first, get your fingers in the E minor and then see what you're going to do. You're going to move your pointer finger down one string from the e A to the, to the D and then you're going to put your middle finger down one string as well. So that's a very easy transition and just add your, your ring finger in there. So E to the A is a relatively easy transition. So you'll want to make sure you can do that, practice that, and then you can go ahead and strum. So let's do our new strumming pattern between the E and the A, E minor and the A. So we'll start with the A, um, we'll do the ones, and then skip the upbeat, and then do two and three and four and. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Here we go, 
raise the E minor, hit raise the E minor. We have an X above one of the strings. You can see here, over here, that means you don't play that string. So the low E note, you want to not play, which takes a little practice because you're strumming and you have to kind of skip one. You kind of have to aim to miss that note. And you can play the A open, you can play the D open. And then this one, I'm a little more picky, I want you to do the fingering that's here. Um, so your first finger will be in the in, on the third string, on the G, in the second fret, your second finger, the middle finger, will be on the first string, the E, the high E, in the second fret, and then your ring finger will be on the B string in the third fret. And again, you're going to want to move them as close as you can to that metal fret without actually being on top of that fret. That'll make it easier to play without buzzing. So let's go ahead and play that. Um, for our strumming, we're going to do a 3-4 pattern this time, just so you get used to it. So it'll sound 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3. And let's emphasize that first beat again. So we're just going to strum it, get your fingers in the D position, make sure these notes come out clear. 1, 2, 3, 1. Ready, play. One, two, three, one. Ready, go. And stop. Okay. So I'm going to leave you on your own to practice transitioning between the D to the E minor, the D to the A, the D to the G, and back again. That's your homework. And that's what you're going to really have to practice. When you're starting out with guitar, these transitions are the things that are really going to bother you and really be difficult, um, I'd say for the first three weeks or so. And then it gets to be kind of second nature once you get some muscle memory in there. Um, but until that comes in, it's just a pain and you'll get a lot of buzzes and your fingers are going to hurt. Um, but it's worth it. Stay with it. Um, you'll get nice calluses on your fingers. It'll look funny when they fingerprint you. Not that I've been fingerprinted before. So let's practice. Uh, do one song. We start with Revelation song. You should have that with you. We're doing it in the key of D. It starts with A, goes to E minor, then G and D. Over and over and over again. So it's a great one to learn on. So you're going to be just learning the transitions from the A to the E minor, which is easy. And then the E minor to the G, which is not too bad. And then the G to the D, which is a stretch because you're moving a lot of your fingers. Okay, not one finger stays in the same place. Um, and then after the D, you're going to move to the A, which is also a little bit of a challenge. So I'll go through it a little bit just so you have an idea of how it's going to sound. And you can practice it at your own speed at home. So here we go. One, I'm going to sing it. I'm going to start from the beginning, um, the first verse. And do it kind of slowly. One. Two, ready, go. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing a new song to Him who sits on.
practicing. Homework is to practice those transitions, practicing the fingering of the different chords that you've learned, E minor, G, A, and D, and practice the Revelation song and the Old Rugged Cross. That's a 3-4 song. Um, I'll play a couple beats of that just so you have an idea of how it sounds. These are for learning purposes, so the keys are not great for singing. On a hill There's a couple more songs in there that you can practice. Intense. Next week, what we'll be doing is learning C in A minor. And again, um, C is a challenging chord. I'm putting up some of the hardest ones um, next week and the week following. I'm just going to teach two chords next week, C and A minor. Um, so that's what's coming next. And we're going to work on speeding up our transitions and doing some basic power chords for those on the electric guitars. We'll be adding some new songs. We are One in the Spirit, Oceans, and Forever Rain. Um, so baby your fingers um, and take care of yourself and keep your head up. See you next week.